Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpster Rentals. Uh, today, I have a pretty special video for you. I've got something I've been waiting for since the day I bought this roll off. And I've tried three different things. I've ordered three different of them and none of them have worked. So today I'm going to install this one on video and let's uh, hopefully it works. And before I tell you even what it is, let's go ahead and roll the intro. All right, so I have ordered three different winch remote controls, wireless remote controls, and none of them have worked. I've ordered um, uh, off eBay, off of Amazon. They've all been supposedly universal and either I'm not smart enough to install them correctly or I maybe I read somewhere that I may have needed like a solenoid and I didn't want to do all that. So I ended up sending them back because none of them worked from install. So. I went, since the day I bought this trailer, I've been trying to buy a um, wireless remote control from Super Winch, and they've been sold out everywhere. They've been on back order on their website. I even listed my name and put my email address for them to contact me as soon as it came in or one would uh, come available. And I never heard from anybody yet up until now. Um, and then this last weekend, my wife, she bought a brand new Jeep uh, a couple, like about a month or two ago and uh, we went to a jeep show a jeep truck show in dallas and sure enough they didn't have it there but i was able to order it the super winch wireless remote control but the super winch wireless remote control i finally got my hands on one they sent it i ordered it on sunday at the show and it was delivered yesterday wednesday so i am here today i was excited like a little giddy school kid and we're gonna do it on video for you guys right now all right so got the box here i got my handy dandy toolbox from harbor freight and this is what came in the box right nothing too you got your wireless remote control your control box and instructions and just uh, some nuts and and looks like uh electrical connectors um, so first what we have to do is we're going to have to remove this winch box. All right. So to remove this, uh, we just got four, four screws here. We need to remove. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. is to say I've done this three times already from three other times I ordered the universal remotes and tried them out so this part is fairly easy is all she wrote there all right so first things first it says to drill a 7 16th hole in the side of the box for the wiring to go through i don't have a 7 16th drill uh with me but i'm gonna go ahead i've got a 5 16th so i'm gonna try that one and we'll see how that goes I'm sure we'll have to wiggle a little around a little bit make it a little bit bigger So before you start, I was just getting a 7 16 drill bit, so you don't have the same problem I do. Right, 
bushes so I got enough room to work with. Instructions again. All right, it says here there are four wires to connect. Remove the wires one at a time to keep track of the correct orientation. When connecting the blue, black, red piggyback connectors, remove the original wire, connect the piggyback connector, and then reconnect the original wire to the piggyback connector. Okay, the red wire connects to the 12 volt stud. So the red wire connects to the 12 volt stud in the middle. The black wire connects to the ground. And the contactor generally is center connector, which is the center one right here. Blue and white connects to the outside to the contactor. These may have to be swapped to engage the correct direction of operation. Okay, that looks simple enough. Let's go ahead and take this over there by us. So the red wire with the ring goes right here. So the instructions. 12 volt power. So this one is 12 volt power. Goes right here. Ground and then wire to blue. Alright. This makes it super easy. Alright. Do these other ones. We're gonna go with Blue. So take the winch wires, it's got like a nice little piggyback here, you're going to piggyback that right into there, and you're going to plug that in right there, okay, do the same thing with this yellow one, and the white, plug that in right there, plug that in, do the same thing with the negative or the ground. Okay. Now we're going to slip this right on the power. And we should be good to go. Where you go? I mm. Cool. Cool. So, in order to turn on the wireless remote, you got to press these two down at the same time for two seconds, and then the red light will turn on. Okay. So, in. I believe it's loosing it. And now we have the out. So, it's actually working. It's awesome. Uh, I did not get this far with my last three remotes. Um, so what we have to do is we have reversed the wires. Um, so looks like the white goes over here with the blue for some reason and the blue is going to go over here with the, the white or the yellow. So let's go ahead and turn this off real quick. Powering it on. Okay, in. Oops, should tighten it up. And it does, out. That is all she wrote, guys. So we've installed it. Turn this off now. Again, I am super excited. I can winch this thing from the truck. Or while doing videos or whatever. We're gonna go ahead and mount the box right over here. The uh this thing, we're gonna need some holes for the screws. We'll push this in more. It's a lot of wiring though. So believe it or not, this is gonna save me a ton of time because every time I gotta get out, I gotta fetch the uh the wired remote um, you know I always have a little bit of hard time plugging it in correctly it just doesn't seem to sit right in there for some reason 
Uh, now, and then I have to throw it from one side to the other if I move inside like I did the other day. What I'm probably gonna do is just zip tie this, or double-sided tape this or something right here. Runs the wires down into that hole, zip tie them down in the bottom, and then just run it right back, nice and straight line. Keep it a little bit clean. Alright, so I've got uh, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, we're going to wipe this down a little bit. A rubbing alcohol compound, clean it up nice and good so the double sided tape, tape can stick pretty good. Alright, so I just put it facing down so the cord goes down there as well. This stuff's really good so I'm going to zip tie it. Right here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go under the trailer and hook up the wires that way. Uh, zip time. So we're right here. We're gonna zip time down here too. That. That you guys is pretty much all you, she wrote. Zip tied it. Go ahead and check it one more time. Nice, pretty, mounted. And I can't wait to do my next one. By the way, I got a new hook over there too. I'll get you a name brand of that. And I'll put it in the description below. Bought it from Amazon. Actually, it's right here, hon. So that hook is an Ambul. I believe it was like 20, rated for like 20,000 pounds or 26,000 pounds, something like that. But nice hook. And that's it, guys. That is the install of the Super Winch wireless remote. Yeah, buddy. See you all in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.